And I voted no. If you get it, I'm happy both ways. All right. So that was a pretty dead even split there. Whew. All right. Give me a tix. Oh. It's time. Let's get going. We planned out what we're going to do on the free to play. It's time to get going. And thankfully, we have exactly the scrolls we need. We need 48 more to obtain 400 points and get these Christmas cards. And we have exactly 48. Now, we don't have all the bag space. But we're going to start off, see what we can find. I'm really, really hoping we can get an AOS copy to get two of her. Because that's more gear and, of course, potentially a transcendence here we might want to build in the future. Depending on how good she is, maybe she, you know, kicks out Sword Flash. Although, I highly doubt it. But, all right. We can do a couple summons here. Maybe we get lucky. We still need one more Ranger from the Forest Faction. We did get a five-star, which is nice. And that's it. Can we do any fusions, maybe? No, doesn't look like it. So, let's see. We still only have three copies of her, which feels bad. We're going to be making a food there. We just have a bunch of three stars, essentially. <laughs> Getting one five star was nice, but um, let's see if we can do this a little more smart. Because we're not going to do a ton more summons on this account. So, if we can kind of play this a little bit more smart and really barely get the space for it, that'll be perfect. So, let's do another 10. Ah, uh, nothing. Oh my god, we basically got all three stars. We got a Roy, but we don't really care about that Roy. I think we're just gonna have to destroy three stars. Eight more of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do our single pulls and get done with this event. We're not gonna do any more past 400, I don't think. We're gonna save for another event in the future. Are we going to get anything? We got some four stars out of these pulls, which is not bad. Sybil, no. Okay, so that's the end of that. And I highly doubt we have any upgrades. Nope, but we did get the Christmas cards, which are important. And we got five crystals. Half of a swap down the road, which is cool. Now, the next important thing is... Uh, we can, of course, use these snowballs to get more resources. We only need two more five-star quests over the next two days, which is awesome. We're just going to feed these off over here, get more resources, and we now have 35 to get the five-star chest. I think that's better than going for like an avatar selection or something. Um, could go for the dark, light dark chest, but I don't think that's the gameplay here. I think even with the swap event coming up, I just we're going to need more Eloise copies. We got a lot. <laughs> so let's get the five-star chest be done there. And grab that chest, not artifacts, nope, right here. Let's grab this out, make sure we grab the Eloise copy. There she is. And while we're at it, let's open these to see what additional resources we get. More scrolls, and this is the good one. Uh, it's crazy how much dust they're giving us, like so crazy. Ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We have some six star chests. We're gonna grab both of these out in the Abyss faction. Two Abyss puppets, let's pop them out as well. Oh, wait, we need. We don't have room. We don't have room, abort, abort. Let's get rid of two of you guys. All right, now we're good to go. There we go. Now we should be able to come in here, go over here and build a nine star Berea. This should be everything we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do like that. Let's do that. And then, of course, the two puppets. And we have a nine star. This way, we can keep the Eloise or the uh, the Garuda just a little bit longer. We don't have to feed her off just yet. Um. Actually, I guess we didn't need to make the 9-star just yet because we're not turning her into a 10-star. We just need to make her leveled up. So, I mean, it's, it wasn't necessary. It's basically just preparation for next week because technically, I think on Thursday night, we might be able to just make her a 10-star immediately. 
There's going to be puppets. There's going to be other things. We don't care about those heroes. What we do care about is getting her up to nine star. And now we just need two copies. So number one, right off the bat next week, we are going to get one from the shelter mission. We can get one potentially from Imp's Adventure. Uh, we have our food ready. I want to make another nine star this week, though. And I think that's going to be in the fortress. Just depends on what other puppets we're going to be getting here. We, of course, get more relics, more gold, more dust, and we get another elite five star right there. So can you replace regular five stars into light and dark? Most likely the light and dark swap event is going to require you to have an elite light or dark hero to then swap into other light and dark elite heroes. I don't think you're going to be able to take like a regular five star and swap it into a good light and dark. Usually, I think in the past you had to use something that was in the elite shards. I believe we are going to summon our AOS copy out here just to get the gear. So that's some good progress there as well. I think we're good. Yeah, Wilbur, it's been a while. You didn't even realize there was a function to, <laughs> to build new heroes. It's like, no joke, Wilbur, the amount of quality of life changes to this game is insane. So we're at 76 profit orbs. We got a skin chest. I think we're good. We got her leveled up. Could invest a little bit more to get her stone up, but I don't want to spend gold this week if I can avoid it. Gold is going to be part of the shop next week. And if we can convert gold into more resources for our Phoenix, that's going to be one of the other biggest upgrades to our account. So we got Aos there. That's fine. We upgraded that. We can check Guild Tech real quick. I think we're solid though. Yeah, I finished out the Ranger Constitution. We're going back for Ranger HP and Attack. Then after that, we'll get that going. We, of course, have level 40 for 20% block. And she's sitting at 92% right now, which is very, or 97%. So it's very important to get her counterattacks off. So now we can make some progress in other modes. Oh, I almost forgot. Should we use our coins for ticks copies? Because again, we're going to need five ticks copies eventually to build like a 10 star to help Eloise get Sealand or not Sealand to get Tower of Oblivion 650 done. I think we should just use the coins because number one, we're going to get more monster resources. We have a chance at dark shards. We have profit orbs. We have a ton of gold. You getting this gold before next week could be good too. I guess so, but good luck. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do, boys and girls? Will, <laughs> will we get ticks? We're going to use all 49. Yes or no is Gamba time for those of you guys on stream right now. Get your predictions in. You think we're going to get it. Maybe save to wait for Eloise copies on the wheel. Eh, we'll probably have plenty of Eloise copies, especially with New Year's event. I think we're going to be fine. Think. Just depends on how many gems it's going to cost. Uh, Probably not today, Nino. I already am to jump on two other people's accounts today. All right. Wow. Y'all are pessimistic right now you're not even giving me the benefit of the doubt of the yes man you guys are fighting between yes and no you guys are oh my goodness who just put twenty three thousand pen with twenty three thousand what are you doing barry don't do barry things what do you mean this is a this is a smart move everybody needs at least like a 10 star ticks for tower progression I voted no. If you get it, I'm happy both ways. All right. So that was a pretty dead even split there. Whew. All right. Give me a ticks. Oh. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. So everybody who voted yes, thank you very much. That was... uh. That was pretty amazing. Plus, we got the orange shards, which is the most important one, too. So we can't get a second ticks, right? Once you claim it, you got to respin the wheel. I've never, I like never get the copies, so it's kind of weird that it happened. <laughs> Let's refresh it. Delacium. Nah, I don't think Delacium is one. Um, okay, we got we got ourselves a ticks copy, which is actually kind of solid. 
and we're going to use him as part of our lineups too because ticks can be very very good so first off we lock him down <gasps> oh my god guys i just realized we just found a hero to use the energy artifact <laughs> we got a hero to use energy that is gonna be sick right there too plus the up oh, okay we can definitely make some progress now we got the ticks up here oh I'm happy I remembered the wishing wheel showed up last night with the ticks. I was like, I'm going to hold the ticks because I think this could be really, really good. Um, We're stuck on Brave Trial, I think. I wonder if these two heroes can take them on. Can these two heroes take our Garuda on? Let's see. Can ticks like lower the attack enough? Maybe. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to hurt this act oh wow it's like a full heal on my ticks holy cow look at this oh no no the ticks the ticks the pets are so strong and that's why pets are so impo important um we could finish it again but we don't need to we've already got night done one time no need to waste the resources it is sea land time wait we might have got more stuff no nope, we already used the stuffs okay Let's go over to shadow i haven't really done much pushing in shadow but now we also have a ticks to support us maybe this helps out let's let lamb take a hit for us as well let's see if we can make some progress the attack reduction will probably help quite a bit and i think now that she's nine star she's probably going to be strong enough here Sadly, we don't have any of the purifies for like the dots, but I don't think that's gonna matter. Ticks doing a little bit of damage, not bad. We could also use ticks in our PVE lineup against bosses to lower the attack coming in. We're definitely gonna push tower as well today. Tower and sea land are the two places. Getting that ticks ghost on uh, on the boss is actually pretty important too. Barry, do you think I can get 800 scrolls by anniversary as free to play? 800 sounds steep i'd probably say like 500 ish yeah and eloise is just op <laughs> opaf <laughs> her healing so long as she blocks every attack kind of keeps her going not we hit our limit i think this one's going to be where we peak we can try putting her in the first slot because we are getting that attack reduction so we could put ticks in slot two maybe we might get a basic off as well But I, I, being that we have, like, no other support, it's not a big deal. But he could get another basic off. He gets uh, an attack swap. Not enough, yeah. Doesn't look like it. She can't quite heal for just enough just yet. So, all right. I think what we'll do is we'll use our smashes on c Land 5. That's good. We can just see if we can maybe get any more progress here. I haven't pushed in forest in a bit. Who's that? Dr. Pew Pew five months. Sup. <laughs> Sup. What's going on, man? Yeah, she's not strong enough. Not without the guild tech. Is Eloise or Tick's better in the mid game? It just depends on the game mode. Overall, Eloise has more value on your account. Ooh, money. No. Uh, but you... Think we can get this with Eloise? Do you think we should put Eloise in the back? Let's see. The Tix's lowering damage could be good. Cruz got a stun off. That's pretty solid. Gives time for Guru to just tank some hits potentially. She lasts one more round. No, she can't. Uh, but Tix did some. <laughs> Tix does some good damage, man. <laughs> he really does. Oh, we got stunned, but yeah, that ticks and the nine star. Look at the damage a five star ticks does. This is why everybody needs a baby ticks on their account. We can run it right back with a Margaret, too. Barry, is Saya food on the free to play account? Most likely, you will never want a Saya on, your, on a free to play account. Um, but what you should really check first is check the residence the tenants for sword flash just in case you don't have the transcendence heroes yet she might be useful oh the stun lock that is so brutal
Uh, should I swap Garuda E5 to a second Rogan? I've already done Sealand 24s, and I think I need I don't need Garuda. Yeah, it's a good time to get your second Rogan after Sealand 20 is done. That was pretty solid. I think we have this actually. The Tick's Ghost exploded, which is really really good. Man, I'm loving this team right now. I am absolutely loving it. Let's just smash. Oh God, Blood Blades. Blood Blades might be another problem. Saya isn't a tenant for Sword Flash. Is she a tenant for anybody? Honestly, though, that shouldn't matter. Uh, the actives are going to be brutal if we can't kill some targets off here. Come on, Ticks. Oh, this might be okay. Oh, no, it's down to the Garuda. But we still got the Cruise. I think we're okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, Garuda carrying us hard. I don't know why I'm not using the Berea either. I just remembered that we have a Berea that's a nine star. Might as well use them while we have them, right? If you can get an active off, it could be pretty cool. Just no actives for the Demon Hunters. That's fine. We got one stun off. We got a Tick's Ghost. Berea didn't even get to attack. Actually, I don't even know if we have Berea's gear set up. Did we put gear on Berea? Ooh, that was sweet right there. Berea, do you have gear? No, you don't. Take some gear, my man. Get some bonuses. Um, let's do that. She's only a tenant for Asmodel the Dauntless. Yeah, then it doesn't really matter at all. Should I swap my Penny into a Shia into a SFX to build her? I mean, that's the plan that we are most likely going to do, but that's not necessarily the plan everybody should do. It just comes down to what you need. Man, this hero is amazing. She is so good. Let's get some more smashes. We're making insane tower progress too, which is so many more promotion stones and stuff. Looks like we're getting stuck on six ice blink. Luckily, the way our team's set up, nobody gets an active in round one, which I think is a good idea. I think. Oh, we're not killing anybody. Oh, no. They're all going to use an active. Nobody. Come on. I needed the top one to be pinged. Don't get frozen, and I think we're... Oh. <laughs> like, don't get frozen, and I think we're okay. We're still okay? Yeah, we're okay. Go team go. And by go team, I mean go Eloise. Man, we're just facing like wave after wave. We keep getting stuck on though. My eyes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get more counterattacks off. The Demon Hunter having the ghost is good. Eloise just took a ton of damage though. I think we might need to move her slot a little bit. Granted, her counterattacks are most of our damage, and then the Demon Hunter just destroying us. Demon Hunter is crazy strong. Um, What if we put the Cruise in slot one? Maybe he gets a stun off? Maybe? Ah, we did get a stun off. It was only one, but it's an Edgar, and Edgars can still do decent damage here. The Demon Hunter, I wish, would have died. But I don't think the Ghost is enough unless Eloise hits her a lot. That chain reaction would have been amazing. We definitely can get this one done. You're stuck on the same wave. It's a brutal one, but I think if we can get a good cruise stun in round one, it's going to be really solid. The attack reduction on Demon Hunter and armor reduction is good. Oh, we got a double stun. This is promising. Every, come on, Tix, right here, right here. Oh, man. Oh, the Tix ghost is going to pop. Nope, yep, nope, yep. It's. I think we're okay. The Demon Hunter is a scary one. I think if the Demon Hunter is dead, we're good. Demon Hunter is just the one that nukes us with an active. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hell yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Aiden, I don't think we're going to have a problem, but our whole team might explode if they all die at the same time. Barry, should I feed Garuda and build Eloise as my first D5? That's a strategy that I'm probably going to be using. But again, make sure you have a plan before you just feed heroes off. You need to have a static plan, like a solid plan in place to justify doing things like that. Whew. 
Whew, okay. Good lord. All right, all right. Calm down. We should be able to skip a bunch of these, maybe. Bleaker wave, really? Bleaker? Really, of all people? Oh, we're out of droplets. Interesting. Um, Are we even on the list? No. 452. We're at 406. But that's not bad. 406 is pretty solid for progress, which also means we probably have a ton of stuff in the bag. One second. I think I have uh, a game before you guys to do again. Start that prediction up. Will we get an Eloise? It is less than 1% chance. Less than one, but will we get it from one five-star elite? <laughs> I highly doubt this is going to work, but you honestly never know. In the meantime, I'm going to summon... Uh, wow, look at that. Exactly 13 out. Still not our last Forest Ranger. Feels bad. Feels really, really bad. Man, I was really hoping we could. We can make a few fusions though. Yeah, we're not using any of them, that's fine. All right, our, is, the, is the game, oh my God, you guys are saying no. Y'all are not cool with me right now. Believer? <laughs> question, general question, is Sword Flash necessary as first Transcendence Hero? Yes, absolutely. If you get Eloise, I'm leaving the stream. Here we go. Oh, it's a Garuda copy though. All right, that's good for our next Garuda that we build. It's kind of a high roll, right? I guess kind of good. Because we're going to save all the other Garudas up, I think. Although we might make a 10-star Garuda if we get 9-star puppets. It all depends. So, uh, yeah, that that that's, that's a no. Garuda's a nice secondary, but it's a good pull. Uh, pull out our four stars. We got puppets. We got stuff. So, yeah. We got to see what we're going to be able to build here as well. Don't know just yet, but I think that's all the progress for the free to play today. I don't want to waste resources leveling the Berea up. That just seems like nonsense. We got the Garuda. We got a Tix copy. We got an Eloise. We are going to get six star gear. Ooh, what's this? More gems, you say? Almost 12,000 gems, you say? More stuff, you say? <laughs> 60. Now we got to level them up. That's going to cost a lot. And then we get the third slot open. Um, Yeah. I think we're kind of ready. Everything else from this week, we are just saving. Like I said, we're not going to do any more heroic scrolls outside of the daily one, essentially. Um. I don't want to try to push for 500. I could if I use gems, but I'd rather save the gems for next week's swap event. Because if we can get a ton of like nine star puppets, 10 star puppets and stuff, this is going to be pretty good. Wow, your pet is low. What do you mean? This is good for the free to play. What you talking about? I haven't done too much um, broken spaces yet, though. We'll probably get back into that once we get her leveled up a little further. Minus 68, really? Because I've been buying resources from the Brave Trial constantly. So I don't know how you came away with 68. That just sounds like some cheating shenanigans right there. We're at 81 Profit Orb, so we already have one loop ready to go. We still have about 40 Super Wishing Coins. Never mind, it's 69. Get out of here, Matt. All right, I think that's it for today. That's some good progress, though. We got up to a Sea Land 5. We got a ton of tower progression. I think we're good to go. Oh, 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 oh,